Welcome back to the Tremclad Rustoleum and uh, as far as product reviews for painting. It's been two days since I've tested uh, the, that paint, the cold galvanized compound, as far as it. And uh, let's start off with this stuff here. It's got really good uh, adherence. Can I tell? Well, come here to the cast iron pump. I go like that, and you can see it doesn't scratch off. So that means it's stuck on there pretty well. The thing on the car I have down there. That's, that's a little bit dirty, but. It won't scratch off, as you can see. You can also test it with a wire brush. I just use something sharp with a screwdriver to scratch it off. But it's just interesting how the uh, original purple primer is so strong. Look at that. It actually scratches the paint, but it just just the top layer doesn't scratch the paint right off. Which is, which as you can see, the, the stuff here, you can still scratch it off. So, maybe it just needs more layers of paint, but I'm not going to be scratching anything off, so it's, it's, it's still alright. So as you can not scratch it off with your hands, with your nails, it's alright. Now the, so that's for that. Uh, I don't know what the advantage would be. This one is just a normal paint. As in principle, the normal paint should do what this is doing. But, uh, and it works fine. I don't know if this will make it stronger. I don't know. It's a bit, that's, that's a test that's a little bit more difficult to conduct. Uh, this stuff here, the phosphoric acid, does work. Uh, I tested on this piece of pipe here. As you can see, that part, it's, the rust is gone. But if I flip it over, oops, I got the paint. Oops, I guess I didn't that test really well. But it, this side, the whole thing was rusted like that, so it does work. Um, here or there was more rust, it left white residue white powder uh, even though I did wash it off but it seems fine I doubt that this here has much advantage over this if I had to choose one or the other I'd go with this one but once again we'd have to do a more thorough tests to verify that Here's the stuff that I painted from the top there. That's the stuff that I painted bare directly onto the metal. And uh, went towards the bottom. That's where I painted uh, both the, um, I put the phosphoric acid stuff. And while it was still wet, I put the paint over it. Got a Rust-Oleum rust converting paint and the galvanizing compound. Now the galvanizing compound just got some sort of reaction and it just rubbed off. I used, I had it sprayed here and you can still see it's sort of grayish but it just sort of peeled off. There's some sort of reaction with phosphoric acid so that was a fail. The trim clad rust converter seemed to work fine and likewise here not much of a difference that I can tell. Now 
so that's that and there I just applied it after it was dry and then I applied the galvanizing compound over it so I just wanted to see how well those things stick together so I guess we can move on to the galvanizing compound so I'm gonna say just to conclude I'm gonna say that that rust reformer there is a success it's a good product I'm gonna be using it again possibly but you see that those paint cans I always stay away from paint cans they're much more expensive and they don't usually work so well I have a paint gun anyway so you know if you ever uh, like I said I've seen people painting a whole car with paint spray cans like that I don't know why you do anything like that it's a lot more money you see with these cans cost about $12 each. A whole gallon of liquid paint, which is by much thicker than these paints. You see, the, actually, there's only maybe, let's say, 40% of paint in this can. The rest is just compressed air or some sort of gas that pushes the paint out. So you're only getting, this is at 291 grams. So you're only getting maybe uh, let's let's say 100 grams or even 200. That gallon of paint is it's uh, it's literally two kilos of paint. So it's like ten times by f over uh, over uh, 50, 20 times more than that, and it's way thicker. So you end up. You end up the, the a gallon of paint is probably I'm gonna say 50 times more than that, at least, at least, at least. With a gallon of paint, I can paint a whole car, and it's forty dollars. This here, four cans of these, which would add, which would come to about forty dollars. I can paint maybe a fender, maybe a fender. So I don't see why you do that so that's just the that's my reasoning i stay away from paint cans i always find that they don't work as well as a normal paints the normal paints are thicker and they, they always seem to have better adherence if you can paint stuff with a paintbrush it's always preferable you always the paintbrush is always pushing the paint in whereas the uh spray you're literally just spraying it over but obviously for a car outside the outside part of the car you got to paint it with a spray gun but on the engine bay I'm just going to use a paintbrush right so uh, the only other cost that you'd have would be getting a paint gun but it's still cheaper it's still cheaper if you get it from eBay or uh, Amazon or some other place it, or even used from uh, your local classifieds it's still probably cheaper so that's my reasoning, but uh, as I was saying originally, uh, the idea is just to test the different product because I don't think that comes in a spray gun, spray and in a paint can. Sorry, liquid paint can. So, and once again, I don't know the advantage of that to just the rust paint. It actually mentions the rust paint here. It says to apply it to get optimal results. Uh, let's read that. Where the hell? And it says one coat is sufficient for optimal performance, allowed to dry 24 hours. If desired, apply top coat color of your choice af after 24 hours. For maximum top coat adhesion and rust prevention, use trim clad rust paint. So, if surfaces are normal, they have just a bit of rust that should be fine. Now as for this stuff, so I think I can do. So that's that. Now we're gonna move on to this cold galvanizing compound. I might as well do that in a separate video. Yeah, I'll do this in the next video.